I don't think that we're going to stop until we get rid of the, six, the stigma for mental illness. I know David won't. And I hope that this helps. It's just so, it's so bizarre how in this world you have to, if you, if you have asthma, you take asthma medicine, you have diabetes, you take diabetes medicine, but as soon as you have to take medication for your mind, it's, there's such a stigma behind it. What went minutes. through my mind yeah. when I fell down? Uh, a, a bad word that I can't say <laughs> <laughs> that starts with F. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I, I'm, out of, I'm definitely out of character at this moment. <laughs> but if I slip back into it by mistake, you can do an intervention of some kind, the Heimlich maneuver or whatever you do with actors that get stuck in character, I don't know. But no, I'm, I'm definitely out of character now. I had a, <laughs> I had a dream. <laughs> and it came true. And that can happen. And that's wonderful. And so that was all I was saying was, was that um, was that it can and it did. Excuse me, that's not articulate. <laughs> you're you know you're always looking for the next job. You always think at the end of one, it doesn't matter what's happened before. No one's ever going to hire me again. So um, I do feel this evening the respect of my peers. And I'm going to ride that wave for as long as I can. But I, I do also have a practical approach to acting, which is got to work, got to work, got to work. I was on a list with the greatest actors around, with Robert De Niro, with Alan Arkin, with Tommy Lee Jones, with Philip Seymour Hoffman. How do you think someone feels when all of a sudden his name is called in that context? I can't tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> When I read the script for the first time, I realized that there was something special about uh, this film. Um, I know Quentin, and I, I read the pages more or less as they came out of the printer. Page by page, I realized that something special is in the making. The best picture requires so many uh, things. Uh, is it necessary to best picture artistically? I don't know. It's just most people vote. They feel like they're the most beloved movie this year by, by our industry. So whether you get it or not, um, I, I'm very proud of everybody uh, work with me. I want to share this with him. Uh, to me, th this is for them. It's like best picture. Uh, whatever I get, <laughs> I think everybody who got it tonight in our group will feel the same way. I, I honestly, you know what, how I feel about that? Naturally, I was disappointed, and a lot of people said, oh, this is something that's going to happen. But um, when I look at the directors who uh, were, uh, you know, who, people who weren't nominated as well, I look at, at, at Paul Thomas Anderson or Catherine Bigelow, who's just amazing, you know, a Tom Hooper and uh, a Quentin Tarantino, who you have t spoken to or you will speak to. These are all directors who I admire enormously. So uh, it was just a very tough year.